Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşe Nur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food and Travel. In this episode, we are making Turkish ice cream. Its sweet, creamy, stretchy and sticky texture makes it a popular street food of summer among Turks and tourists. You must have seen the fast capped man wearing traditional robes entertain the buyer and the crowd with every sale if you came to Turkey. I'm gonna show you how you can make this popular ice cream with only three ingredients. So let's begin. I'm going to use one and a half kilograms of cow milk. Traditionally, we make it with a goat milk, but it is hard to find. Even I had some trouble. I had to wait to get it, so I decided to uh, try it only using cow milk. And the second ingredient is salep. It's a flower made from the tubers of the orchid genus Orchis. Salep is consumed in beverages, ice cream and desserts, especially in the Turkish and Ottoman cuisines. I bought this one from Kastamonu city two years ago. It costs about 1000 Turkish liras for kilogram, which is very expensive and about $120. But with 50 grams of the powder, you can make a lot of ice cream. And this is the dried form of the salep. It gives a unique different texture to the ice cream and also to salep drink. For one liter of milk, one teaspoon a little bit heaped of salep is enough. So for one and a half liter, I'm using one and a half teaspoon along with one cup sugar. I'm gonna mix it with sugar and then add it to the milk later. I'm simmering my milk at least for 20 minutes and the ladle was hot. It is better to whisk it from time to time and evaporate as much as water as you can to make a nice creamy ice cream. And after about a half an hour simmering my milk, I'm ready to add the sugar and salep mixture. Just continue a whisk while adding the mixture, little by little, just like making a pudding. and continue to uh, simmer and cook the milk with the salep until it thickens. As you can see, it is kind of a more darker in color and thicker. You can check it with the back of the spoon. If it is not thick enough, you can continue to simmer for a couple of more minutes. And again, uh, to make it more traditional, if you can find goat milk, you can mix uh, half of goat and uh, cow milk to uh, try it that way. I want to uh, cool my mixture as soon as possible, so I put it to a wider pan. I'm gonna mix it from time to time to prevent having some uh, coating on top and cool it completely. To speed up the process, I put it into a cold water bed and cool it completely. I'm also going to add the kaymak I collected from the milk. Uh, you can use heavy cream, it's the same thing. 
just to give some fat to make it extra creamy and uh, it would be better actually uh, to add it before it is cooled down and to chill my ice cream base completely I transferred it again to another plastic container and put it into fridge after it is chilled completely you can do it either with ice cream machine or as a traditional way chill it in the freezer and every one hour just scrape down from the sides and then mix it again basically the main difference in this uh, Turkish style ice cream is of course the salep it gives like an oozy texture you will see it now in a moment after it is churned it comes out very creamy but still thick and uh, you really feel it when you eat after churning in the machine it still needs to chill so I transfer it back to the uh, container and gonna continue to chill and uh, this time I will also uh, mix it with a wooden spoon this is about 45 minutes later it is still very uh, soft but since the base is thick uh, even though it is soft you you get hard time uh, mixing it so I'm using a wooden spoon or spatula I can say and this is after another hour or so it is more thicker and harder to mix and uh, now you can easily uh, see how oozing the texture is and this really uh, makes the difference So I continue to uh, freeze until it is set completely and now it's time to serve and try it. It is better to soften for about 10 minutes before serving to scoop out easily but it was really very smooth no icing whatsoever and very uh, pleasant to eat with a thick base coming from the salep powder you can use the same base and add some cocoa powder to make a chocolate ice cream or strawberry puree to make it strawberry and experiment with other flavors too so this is how a Turkish ice cream traditionally made I hope you give it a try and like it you can uh, search for sale powder online if I find a place uh, to give you a suggestion I will write down the link in the description box below Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Afiyet olsun.